All right. Usually I edit these things profusely um, and work on the presentation of these things uh, quite a bit, but <laughs> sorry. Read the uh, email about the Sesame Street neighborhood and the people that you meet each day. And it's a cute little hook to remember the way that Federated Wiki works. But let me show you uh, how it works here in my neighborhood. And that will show you how you can start looking at the stuff that other people have written and hopefully fork some of that to your site. Does that make any sense? Hopefully by the end of this, it will. So let's go to recent changes. Recent changes is the core of community in Federated Wiki. And when we open recent changes, we're going to see two things, right? If we go down and look here in our neighborhood, there is our journal. My journal is journal.hapgood.net. That's my journal. And right now we have uh, what's called uh, directory, uh, directory uh, Fed Wiki happening. And what I've used directory for in the course and what you can use directory for in the course if you're a teacher is I've used it as sort of the official place. So it's the place where we have the list of people from the course uh, in it, the definitive list. It's also a place where I've taken certain work uh, from other people and I've highlighted it uh, uh, from that account. So we should see the things that I've forked in my role as the director of the course, right? So you can do this too. You can follow along with me. We'll uh, see that there's a number of things here. First things first, uh, know that Ward Cunningham is holding office hours. You want to do that. Um, 10 p.m. tonight, Pacific time. And then, holy crap, 4 a.m.? 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. So Australians, 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, so I can look at that stuff. And that's, that's something that is not on my site. It's on another site. I know it's on another site because it has this blue rim around it. And the, the blue halo just indicates this is page is coming from somewhere other than my site, right? So let's look at something else. I, I saw something here I really liked today. Um, let me figure out where it is. Oh, Shut Up Inner Critic. Okay, so Shut Up Inner Critic. And right now we can see that it's something that I have on my site and it's something that the directory has. Now, when I load it though, more people have worked on it than just me in the directory. Actually, if we go down to the history, and at the bottom of each page is a history, you can see all these people have worked on it. And automatically, as I load this site, remember your neighborhood is composed of the people that you meet when you're walking on the street, when you're walking on the street each day, right? These are the people you have met walking on the street, walking on the FedWiki street. Oh, it's too much Baileys. But seriously, so what has happened is I've, I've hit this page and it has all the people who have uh, who have worked on the page are now loaded in my neighborhood, right? And so, for example, um, if we look at this uh, this uh, article, by the way, I love this article. Can I take just two minutes to tell you how this article shows you everything that is great about FedWiki? Can I do that? Okay. Okay. So Alan, which you may know as Cogdog, um, wrote this up initially, and Alan's kind of an expert in the area of creativity, right? It's, it's about a TEDx talk, but it's talking about this idea of the inner critic and how uh, we have to occasionally turn off that inner critic if we want our creativity because of self-censoring and things like that. And if you go back and you actually go in the history, and we can look back at what this page was initially, if you go back, let's look at it right before it was first forked. This is what he initially wrote, just this thing here, right? So you notice there's this uh, page here. He mentions the imposter syndrome, but just mentions it. And there's nothing else, right? And then if we go forward a little bit in time, someone else has come along here. In this case, in this case, Jason Green comes along and uh, Jason adds this line. He just edits the article directly and says, this is reminiscent of Stephen Krashen's monitor hypothesis. Comment, Mahabali comes and uh, she forks it. It says, you know, this imposter syndrome thing is mentioned. I have a writing on the imposter uh, syndrome on this blog. I see that. I go up and I say, okay, well, let's write something about the imposter syndrome. So I hot link imposter syndrome and I write up this page about the imposter syndrome. And on the page, I say that Mahabali discusses it. Okay, Nick, um, I'm going to get his name wrong, but Kearney, um, 
says, this is interesting, but the quote from the Charles Lim video refers to the lateral prefrontal cortex as the area associated with self-monitoring. Um, might this also be related to self-awareness? If so, is there a link to this notion of flow? And so someone else could come along. He could look at Nick's comment and say, okay, I'm going to edit this document here and fork my version. Um, and I'm going to add something about flow here. So what you have here is uh, a document worked on by multiple people. And eventually we'll start deleting these, um, these comments as we start to work these things into the article. But because these people are now loaded in my neighborhood, right? Jason Green ha is here, right? So am I sure I have Jason Green's page? Well, I do because we now have Jason Green in my neighborhood. So Jason Green is in my neighborhood. Mahabali is in my neighborhood, so I have access to her page. The monitor hypothesis that Jason links in his thing is available to me. And as I browse around, I start to accrue more people in my neighborhood, right? So your neighborhood is the people that you meet when you're walking on the street uh, each day. I don't know. I, I could talk all day about how much I love this particular article, uh, but I, I have some stuff down here on, on why that is. It's a nice short name. It's, it's referenceable. It's of a idea that could be reused in multiple. Um, and we've gone from someone noting something just in passing to slowly making this article better and then pushing out from the center uh, to build kind of a bigger web of knowledge. Now that we have these people in the neighborhood, if we go to recent changes, we can look at other stuff that these people have done, right? So now this retro video game parenting thing shows up. There's a serial monologue, which comes from comes from Nick. Um, and so now I can see Nick's stuff. And so my neighborhood has grown by virtue of me working on documents. So that's way one. Now, here's the thing, is because we're trying to bootstrap a community from nothing, we can't rely just on documents to, to connect us, right? Because we're starting from nothing. We don't have anything to connect us at this point. So I've hacked together this way for you to see everything that everybody is doing on the site. And the way is this. Visit this page happening, folks, when you come into your site. Wait for all of the site maps to load. Um, so when this neighborhood loads, we'll have a list in our browser on the back end of every page on every site. And what this means is when I visit any given page, so uh, John Udell and I were just talking about this page um, called um, something farm, closed farm. When I visit any given page, and you saw as I visited that, I accumulated even more people, right? Um, as I visit this page, I will see uh, older versions of this page. I'll see same versions of this page. If there's newer versions of this page, I'll see newer versions uh, of this page. Um, so that's your neighborhood. And that is uh, the, the interaction that we had today that I'm really excited about. The uh, assignment for um, tomorrow is to do what people have been doing here. You find there's been a lot of great work. I haven't highlighted at all. But if you look, um, let me find some pieces here I liked. So someone did something on learner emotions. Uh, someone did something. Uh, Ward uh, had this weeds in the farm thing. Hyperland. This is awesome. Paul actually um, um, pointed me to this film that apparently has Douglas Adams talking to Tom Baker, Doctor Who fame in it, about hypertext. So um, that is something I need to watch. But look around, look around, load the happening folks, look around the farm, look for things that are about a single idea with a simple name um, that really invite people to um, comment on them. Try to copy that in your own work. Try to imitate that in your own work. And if you want to leave a comment, leave it, fork the page and leave a comment in this format here. You just double bracket your name to link to your bio. You fork it um, because you're forking it to your site and the reference will be there automatically. Uh, your bio will show up when people click that.